Nde wonu o mu wan nem nile. Mana woke mana wai. Tata no wa aino no be voice of the east. Olundi bo. Ono mama fambu. Ndunwa if you want your regular old snack cover voice of the east for Lagos and in diaspora. This program kaiji wera wa don di boni de both in their businesses, the culture, the tradition. Jie we ne showcase kwa our beautiful people. On every episode, I ne we a special guest in the house. Oyin ne ni da nyaka chetere ndu 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 bo ndu bai ndi habo chetere ndu ndu bo ndu bai hana abasim boike because they have also been there and they've done that and they are here to encourage people. On today's episode, I ne we one special person. Hmm. boy <laughs> None other but Commissioner DJ YC. Never know. I'll do chicky chicky chicky. Chicky chicky chicky. You know that DJ style where you do like. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. So Iga 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 Guarany Iga Guanya Fag Iga 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 Kinesin the the bind the no 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 na watch this show. Guanya Fagi Guanyo too. Is that so let's kick it. Let's roll. Let's roll. Chicky chicky chicky. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> I found a very welcome. I'm here to marry the commissioner DJ YC. I'm a money mustard. Isn't he ten percent local government? Can it be no way to? Where did you grow up? Okay, I grew up in Imo State too. Nalibo. Wow. Nalibo. Um, Obun, I'm grew up up Nalibo. I was just literally everywhere. Lagos, Ibo. Hmm. In most state school, I went to boarding school too. So, Big girl, on any book on Lagos. I've been marching on our school. I've been looking for Lagos, Lagos, um, in most state. Uh, Lagos, in most state. Yeah. Um, like when, like your primary education, like my primary education in most state. In most state. Yeah. Can we go to Lagos? Uh, my secondary school. Mm. But it wasn't more than one year. Mm. Yeah, I went back to Imo State. What yes. about uh, university? Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. Okay, university finish you from? Um, I finished from Lagos State University and um, oh, I'm from another course now, National University of Nigeria. Mm. Lagos. Too. That's very good. So came with this and chiki chiki. Came with bidoro. Came with ibido feel with the vibe like. Mm-hmm. And was it something you wanted for yourself? Was it something you wanted for yourself? To be honest, I never wanted to be a DJ. Mm. I, I never planned it. I never thought of it. And um, let me say, as at, as at 2014, mm. I never knew I was going to be a DJ. Mm. Yeah. I didn't even know, like, I wanted to be a footballer. I was a footballer. I even once represented Nigeria once in Ivory Coast, Cordova. Mm. Yes, and um, that's like the Nigerian team. That's what age? Team. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, know. But, like when you wanted, but that was that was, that was um, that was 2014. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was 2014. Yeah, that was 2014. I'm a, I'm a no, like you were that you were joining in for for the representation. Say again. Like or under, uh, like oh, even now we're a different category now. Oh, we're different. Under eighteen. Okay, under, under 18. eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So um, I did once. Everybody thought my mom in the village. I everybody thought I was going to be a footballer. So uh, because I was already making waves mm. and all of that. So but um, one thing, one thing happened, and I couldn't continue. Um, only that was just. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I fell down from two story building. Ooh. It was all over social media. So, so sorry. Yeah. So, uh, with my friend, but my friend died. I, I was in hospital for months. On now, but that crawl. Yeah. Give me a message. The balcony collapsed. Ooh. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. So, I had injuries and I couldn't continue football again. Uh, so, at that time, so I was hopeful maybe like after like two, three years, I was going to, you know, get better and continue the football. But along the line, waiting, mm. um, I figured something else. Mm. I was in Lagos, um, one of my sister. Mm. And uh, anyway, by Gara, my sister, see, I, 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 I saw this lady performing. Mm singing hmm. so me it caught my attention though when my sister said i got that lady now 
I want to sing too, mm. <laughs> you know, just like that. So the next day, the lady at Borom Girl Studio and by Girl Studio, I had to sing. I told the I told the producer that I want to sing like Beyonce. I want to be like the Nigerian <laughs> Rihanna, Beyonce. That nobody is doing it. Now you know that kind of thing. Mm. So that was it. Though I became a musician, mm. from football to musician, and um, I sang a couple of songs. I won't lie. And uh, my friends, my family, huh? Honey, next the the able the author. Mm. But me, I wasn't sounding like the Beyonce. <laughs> So because they were all praising me, oh, this song is nice, this, that, you know, they became my fan. They released it, right? Did you release and it? And when it came released, it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it when it came released, it. so it was just like inside. So one back. day. Because, uh, I feel like before family are singing, they were 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 singing. No, my family, they were singing, they were singing music. They don't know anything, even to you now. So it's only normal for them to just hear me sing on a beat and be like, oh, you are the, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So, and I, I feel like I didn't have good music. They called them A and R, good music listeners around me. Right. Then one day I was just listening to the songs. And um, I, I, I listened to these songs, my songs, they were like five tracks. <laughs> And I told myself, <laughs> you are singing rubbish. You got one more kid in this area. Oh, wait, I wouldn't do that. not singing rubbish, but at the end of the day, by the time I get this, I know. You know, you know, when you want to do something and then you're looking up to one person or two, you understand? I, I, I know, and then, and I was like, like I'm not sounding like Beyonce. <laughs> I'm not sounding like these people. What am I doing? You don't know that kind of thing. I can tell myself, say, if I continue like this, I will never be who I want to be. <laughs> so I advised myself and I told myself I'm going to quit. I told myself, um, my family, my friends, and now I want me to Yoku, they're all lying to me, you know? So um, I had to, I even confronted my friends. I'd be like, you people know that these songs are not sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Even with your new book on English, <laughs> English, <laughs> people know that these ones are not. They say no, it's sweet. I say, you know what? I'm, oh, I'm done. Action. Mm. I'm like, I'm done. I'm really done. So that was it. And um, I told myself I was going to um, pen the whole music stuff. Like it wasn't really going as planned. And I, that was like one best advice I gave myself because who knows? Maybe I will still be upcoming artist. You know? now. I'm just saying, you never can tell. But then. Um, if what now happened, um, I needed to also do something in the entertainment industry. So I just told myself, okay, if I am not going to sing anymore, um, I told myself maybe I was still young, maybe in the next five years, um, my, my voice will be matured. Probably the problem Better. was my voice, mm. you know. So I like, okay, so what will I be doing before my voice gets matured? Yeah. Mm. So I thought of it. We went out that night, me and my sister, in uh, Aja, Lagos. We went out that night. Um, I saw this DJ scratching. I'd be like, ah, why, how is this guy doing this thing? You know? I went behind him. I stood behind him for a long time. He didn't even notice. So when he was playing music, I didn't mind the music. But my own is I was hoping, guy, touch that thing now. This stop this rubbish music. Just touch that thing. So when he touched it, I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was it. And my sister, my sister came and touched me. Do you like him? I said yes. Now I like that thing. Mm -hmm. And my sister was used to always toasting people for me. Mm -hmm. So if I said if if I if, whenever I tell my sister I like this person, it's just like that girl. The singer, mm. now she go toast him for me. Mm -hmm. With a color and toast, he go mm -hmm. toast him for me. So she now said, should I toast him for you? I said, yes. <laughs> so she went and told the DJ, my sister, I like you. I said, no, I don't like you. I like that chick. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so that was it. And um, I told the DJ, I want to learn. The DJ was like, no, you look like, you don't look like a DJ. Okay. You don't look like you're a girl, you know that kind of, you're small. Mm. The guy just discouraged me. I went home, I looked at myself, I check, check a mirror like this. Do I look like a DJ? Don't I look like a DJ? I don't even want to be DJ. So DJ is no game. Mm. <laughs> DJ is no game I money. That. I, I, I understand. So, uh, yeah, so um, 
The next time again, we went out. I saw another DJ, but the DJ was not scratching. I told my sister, he's playing rubbish. He cannot even scratch. You know, that kind of thing. Another day again. So I just, I just figured that anytime I see DJs, is either I, I praise the DJ or I probably, you know, judge, judge, mm. you know. I'm like, okay, why am I doing this? So one time, one day, I met another DJ scratching. Mm. I told my sister, please go and tell him. My sister was always there for me, like, go and tell him that you know, I want to. How many DJs is your sister? <laughs> how do you call her? Go get her. Push her. Push her. Why don't you push her? I swear. So my sister now went. My sister was like, do you want to be a DJ? I said, yes. I just want to be a scratch DJ, not DJ. I don't want to play music. My sister said, you cannot be a DJ without playing music, mm. you know? I know. I never liked music. I won't lie to you. I was not like that music, music person. In fact, even till now, there's a way you make noise. I, I will just tell you a big shot that till now, like, you know. So, um, my sister went and told the DJ. The DJ said, no, it the Kobe, this, that, um, even why, blah, 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 all those things. And I figured at that time, there was no female DJ, like, just like we have them right. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... They were all looking down on me, mm-hmm. you know. So, but then I, I met this DJ Alice. DJ Alice was like, I can teach you, but you're small. Your family, my, they don't feel let you. I, I didn't show sure how get a, a quicker. Why did they keep saying small, small? Is it your stature or your age? You know, even till now, people even think I'm a small girl. Hmm. Maybe in the next five years, they'll still think I'm a small girl. So, <laughs> obviously, my stature. My age, too, anyway. This thing I'm saying was 2015, 16, you know. So, um, the DJ insisted that if I must learn from him, that I must bring my family members. I mean, I already know that my mom, okay, okay, can bro DJ, my dad, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. There, you know, they, 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 they were even happy that I stopped football. <laughs> you know, yes, because they, my mom wanted me to be a doctor. My mom wanted me to take over whatever she was doing. And, you know, because nobody would be a nurse or doctor in that. My, my mom was like the the nurse or the mini Jesus in my village that mm. used to save Lives. everybody and care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now my mom wanted me to take over and all of that. But I did not see myself, you know, as much as that time, sometimes my mom would put drip or something. And I'll go and remove the drip. I, I, had, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I, that idea and everything, I when she did chicken injection and all of that, like I, I already saw myself doing this whole medical stops, you know, because I was always close to her in the hospital where she was working and all of that. I'm the last one. So, um, but me, I don't want to be nurse, doctor, anything medical, like no. So if they were to take back the ends of time, Kita, you would you still want to be a DJ? You got you with DJ. Uh, or would have gone back to football. I'll come back to football. Yeah, go back. Till tomorrow, football first. Funny enough. Mm. This year, into to into to football called into to DJ called into to DJ into to DJ. Yeah. You didn't have it when you. Mm. I didn't. I didn't have it even when I was saying. You know this your hair is a signature. Signature hair, yeah. Mm. So I figured it out when I was already a DJ. Mm. So the guy taught me. Um, my sister went and represented me from the family whole thing, and then me and my sister will now say, okay. um... You know how you do this um Bet. thinking swear and all mm. this thing. Don't tell mommy, don't tell daddy. Me and you, only me and you know that I am learning DJ. You know, so that was it. And um I became a DJ. Are they proud of it now? Are they proud? Ha, everybody. Mm. <laughs> everybody. So I became a DJ and um, the only way I was able to tell my parents that I was a DJ. Because I know if you tell them, mommy, I, I, I was in DJ. Mm. He would DJ again. <laughs> you know that kind of, even my friends, even even the friend, that friend that took me to the studio, we don't even talk to you today. I won't lie to you just because I became a DJ. Mm. I had friends that they were like, this thing no fit you. I had a friend that was like, do you even want to, you want to be poor forever? Mm. DJs, they pay them 1K. You no, know that kind of mm. 5K and all of that. So I had friends that were like, if you become a DJ, we'll not be friends, especially that one. Mm. So, but me, I insisted. I just followed what I, I saw myself doing this. And me, I did not want to do it because of money. I never, ever planned to DJ because of money. 
Because I didn't even see money coming. I didn't even see the DJs I was seeing, they were not even looking rich. Mm. You understand? I just wanted to do it because I, I wanted to scratch, you know? <laughs> just, <laughs> I just, I just I wanted to scratch. It was a fun thing for you. Yeah, but but the thing is, there was no way I could scratch that without was... learning how to mix songs. So you try to advise uh, upcoming DJs that did like people like looking up to you, what would you tell them? Because I know there are some people that also want to scratch as much as you want to scratch. Yes, but well what I'm telling them because um some people just feel like you just come out from nowhere and you become commissioner and you're popular mm. and you're, you have money or something mm. like that. Mm -mm. I, I have been grinding in this whole DJ career thing because it, even as a lady, it wasn't easy. I know. If I mm. tell you the things. So how did being a lady affect your DJ lifestyle? Honestly, it really did. Not now anymore. Now I'm commissioner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, commissioner now. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really did. Um... Because you know this whole um, lady is not being able to, and you know DJ is like a male-dominated industry. Industry, yeah. Mm. So, and then you more a chance. And then you more a chance. And then you more because when you open now more you get mainly, you know yeah. things like that. So um, they always look down on me. Mm. They were always looking down on me. Even most times, I wanted to like, okay, let me show you what I can do and all of that. They were like, you cannot do anything. You, can't, you don't even want to see <laughs> like, it yet. You cannot but thank do God anything. for growth. It's good at yeah. that level. No, no, no. So you need your proof too much. Your no, I, I don't prove tell. anything anymore. Like, mm. Yeah, I don't. So, um, Kita Isne, you like your music that much. I would have asked you uh, the challenges. Okay, um, you never practiced. So, you know, Basad, this is you obviously you practice your Nani, but cha cha like there was never a time you were a DJ or during this your like this your going up and down you know doing DJ or we kiss way busy and anybody made that this mm -mm, no never for one just day. You just booking just again yeah, if, if I go there I will just so you know, if you feel rich or you go on at that industry and able to do like just to upgrade or become better in that in that line of career yeah but I feel every time I go there um, there is no really improvement when it comes to the skillful part of this whole industry because um, DJ and them at that time he mm. hadn't made that time because um, I feel like they are comfortable uh, they are comfortable in a sense that that little money they are getting down there mm. they are okay mm. they don't even want to grow mm. And uh, you cannot come and tell them start on a, learning. And actually, grow on a, the place, uh, the environment they hand on there is not giving them a chance to grow. You Which don't need to be in a better or Lagos environment to grow because, as a matter of fact, I still have people in Lagos that don't want to grow. They are all they are comfortable. That's most of them. Self, the software I use now, they can't even use it. But they started DJ before me. It just I feel like his mindset. Mm. Okay, um, I want to grow. I want to upgrade. You understand? But the only advice I would just if you really if you really want to be a DJ, especially the Eastern people, because I won't lie, I always like to see people from my side, especially Imo State or Igbo land, doing like in this whole entertainment industry. In the entertainment industry, I always like no, you're doing well. I don't want to be here alone. I carry you along. And um, if you want, I carry you along. Because most people have from a carry shoulder. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll carry you along. And I could show you one or two things if you want to. Mm. Uh -huh. But if you feel comfortable where you are, that is fine. But I, I just have to advise them. Um, there is room to upgrade mm. if you want. And... Um, um, to learn more skills also because unless you want to just stay down there if you want to stay down there and be comfortable it's okay but I I cannot advise you what you can do and that's why I say any how you're comfortable I just do you okay so um, the final question Kita and Charlie go okay we have a project running by Voice of the East or uh, on building in our neighborhood building in our neighborhood or anything or anything is about Opening platforms, umuibu, it may be platforms for other growing talent to be able to key into it without having to travel or look for opportunities everywhere. Ani bobo, 
e be so many things e be do even to the other this not live without the cool case e be do na nibo o mo ibo film say say e actually ibo films e got all those things oh na nibo ka this things we be do man all the kind those things up wa go na nibo you understand those things buzi obun ni bia lagos e ma me buzi e you understand so kita i na try e mean the ma dey can understand there na so many things can happen in anibo obun na e me invest in anibo and also open a platform so that only open open ego kichori to dj kichori me call me chori me there will be a platform for you that can promote you straight from anibo to the world you understand so it give it guy jiro no kita as coming one as commissioner dj yc where i in the buying i watch this program kita ha try yeah invest here in anibo creating platform so that some one na in to the to ni take for kwa opportunities you go eboro made in kinha in the nearest future um in the buying my people please let's try to invest in the east create platforms for the younger ones for the upcoming ones um even in the music industry uh for example i have an academy in lagos and i'm also trying to take the academy down to the east to also you know teach the younger people because i know so many people like the young people down there in the east they also want to be like me they mm. also want to be dj's and all of that regardless of the Reg- circumstances regardless of the circumstances yes and um the only way me i could help is taking the academy down there because i'm not born in lagos mm. it's not everybody that will come to lagos so i have to take it down there to also you know develop them make them know what i know and all of that so that is also my plan this year 2024 and um we are working on it even my first ever show i took it down to the east commissioners festival that was 3 months ago i'm also planning another one east i haven't done a show in lagos before and i want to even even when i'm bringing it in lagos let it be probably the last but let me start from where i come from so and i started from the east the next one is also in the east so um i just feel like um this thing i already started um every other person can also do it we can do better um we can you know help the youth help the younger ones down there you know to achieve their goals without even coming to lagos or without even traveling abroad and i love that thank you very very much thank you akuna no una no go come in una no go focus us in na on a home per academy call on a host abi academy in the east abi yes. so because you make inquiries maka this thing and then the ibu dj like I've, i've always said it uh, even when i had uh, one interview with uh, amazing clef the guy who photo ko ni say can we go ezo ko dinner the guy gwara nya go no way your body chori me no wa wo small thing yes i mean you can grow a big platform from doing that and the man is not small thing Obere ha ishi no in obere ko you can reach the peak of that career so on the nefi now ego ade ona in gbasaru dj please just kill that no thing. imagine them that year and see me now mm. you know i don't do any other thing there is nothing else i do for a living right now like career with dj do you understand everything i've done for myself my cars my investment i built my mom a house everything i have done is this dj This same DJ they said I want you go you want to yeah, be poor so forever nothing. and all of that. Only so, feature me then we're all like its own peak. You understand? So now this will bring us to the end of this show. I hope that Nandini the Chori with DJ got watch this show. Oh my god. Then Tony Tate Tony Tate then they run and they lose go now hope says maybe I be the go the DJ and I want 1000 2000 just so I have the material be akoro he world of states. The way there is There is always light at the end of the tunnel. Upon the end of the tunnel, I could see the that light. Come on, do that. Beginning of the tunnel. So I thought I didn't know about easy. But at the end of the day, the sun would always shine on people who keep on trying. But I didn't, story, say, I didn't say. Sorry, I didn't say. I didn't say this. Um, that okay, DJ is pain and all of that. Make everybody wrong. Go be DJ. <laughs> I just have to say this. If you feel like now your passion. I don't already tell on her to be DJ. It was never my passion, but I worked towards it. I did not just, you know, I grinded. You know, I did a lot. I I I added more skills just to be unique. I am the drama queen. I'm not sharing with anybody, you know. So that is why I stand out. So another thing you're doing is that thing you're doing try to stand out. Don't just be like the regular DJs and all of that. Everybody will see you as a normal DJ. Nobody sees me as a normal DJ now because even when they invite me, they invite me to come and drum, not even to play that music. I gave it another sauce like I added stew rice and everything. And it is sweet, sweeter according to them. So but 
if no be your passion, engineering, this, whatever, could be your passion. Make you no waste your time just because you want to be like commissioner. You don't even know how commissioner became commissioner. So to me, is if you feel even you have passion... I didn't know she would become commissioner. Even commissioner, I didn't know she would become commissioner. Do you understand? <laughs> I only worked hard, like really hard, and I invested and all of that. I cannot tell you how I got here, but it wasn't easy. So, but the thing is, if you feel and you see that this particular place you are chasing is not really your passion, you are doing it because this person is there and this person is rich and all of that, please don't do it. Just do it because you have passion for it. Mm -hmm. So me saying all of this now, I did not say everybody run and go and be DJ. I said, if you have passion for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. That, so please, in the literary with DJ, this is your cue to start, you know, building yourself. Yeah. Special branding, uniqueness in anything you're doing will make you stand out. And the moment you stand out, you've already paved the way for yourself. Yes. You've already started, like you've, 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 you've done nothing in a different dimension that makes you a different person and you would always get your crowd for doing that. Yes. So, Thank you very much for watching this show. All the people that stayed with us through this show, I really want to thank you. Unumero Fuma. Please and please and please, this is your cue to start doing something meaningful with your life. Start, you know, start projecting and, you know, uh, positivity and, you know, you know, forwardness in your life. And until another episode on Voice of the East, um, one name, Corden. Corden. We'll see you next time. Love you all. Mwah.